Rate of reaction is the change in concentration of reactant or reactants or product or products per second. And the units of rate are mole per decimeter cubed per second. We can use colorimetry. And we can use this when a species in an equation changes color. Now what we have there is a little glass cuvette which is a hollow cylinder and you can put liquids or solutions into it. Then we've got a detector and we've got a light source and that light source provides the correct frequency of light. Now iodide being oxidized to form iodine and then reacting with starch makes the solution go from colorless to blue-black. And we monitor the amount of transmittance. Measure the transmittance or absorbance at various times. Use a calibration curve to convert transmittance or absorbance into concentration. Clock reactions give a sudden colour change when the product reaches a certain concentration and the time for this to happen is recorded. Now the most common example is the iodine clock reaction where iodide reacts with hydrogen peroxide in acidic solution forming iodine and water. So into our conical flask we're going to add acidified hydrogen peroxide, starch solution, and sodium thiosulfate solution. Now we're going to add potassium iodide, and potassium iodide is the source of the iodide ions that we need, and the time recorded for the mixture to suddenly turn blue-black. And the blue-black comes with iodine reacting with the starch. So the iodide ions are oxidized to iodine by the hydrogen peroxide. The iodine reacts with sodium thiosulfate forming iodide ions again. The mixture does not turn blue-black because there is no iodine to react with the starch. because the iodine reacts faster with the sodium thiosulfate than with the starch. Whenever all of the sodium thiosulfate has reacted. And then the iodine can react with the starch and we will get a blue-black complex forming. The mass loss experiment. Now we need an electronic balance, a conical flask, a measuring cylinder, a stop clock and some cotton wool. Into a measuring cylinder place 25 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid and that is in excess and place on the electronic balance. Then add a known mass of powdered calcium carbonate into the conical flask and place on the electronic balance. Pour the acid into the flask. Start the stop clock. Insert the cotton wool plug. Record the mass every 20 seconds up to 4 minutes. And we can see the mass is decreasing because there is a gas being given off. Now the function of the cotton wool is to allow the carbon dioxide gas to escape. But it stops the acid spray from escaping. Plot a graph of mass loss against time. And the gradient at any point gives the rate at that point.
measurement of change in volume of gas produced using a gas syringe. Shake the flask. The little test tube inside falls over, allows the hydrochloric acid in to react with the calcium carbonate. And we record the volume of gas every 20 seconds up until 3 minutes.